fits the lid and base together, ensuring that the line and label are on the same side. When the lid and base are aligned, apply pressure to each corner in turn, until four clicks are heard. Ensure each corner is secured before use. Rotate the lid up until it covers the aperture. Continue to close the lid until a click is heard. This indicates the container is now in temporary closure. Before use, familiarize yourself with the position of the fill line, label and the waste type printed on the rim. Fill in the details on the label, your hospital or site, department or ward, your name and date you assembled the container. The SharpSafe container can now be placed into a near patient Sharps disposal tray ready for use. Release the temporary closure feature by pressing the tab down. Fold the lid back until it engages into the open position. Dispose of sharps into the SharpSafe container by simply placing the sharps through the open aperture, activating the container's internal flap. The flap returns to the closed position once the sharps have passed through. If your protocol allows for the disconnection of sharps, you can separate the needle from the syringe by utilizing the removal features on the SharpSafe container. Place the rim of the needle under the lure slip remover. Then, with the container held firmly, pull the syringe upwards until the needle slips off the syringe. Allow the needle to drop into the SharpSafe container. Place the needle into the lure lock remover. Then, with the container held firmly, rotate the syringe anti-clockwise until the needle unscrews from the syringe. Allow the needle to drop into the SharpSafe container. Place the needle pen into the needle pen remover. Then, with the container held firmly, apply downward pressure to the needle pen and start to rotate anti-clockwise until the needle unscrews from the pen. Allow the needle to drop into the SharpSafe container. Place the scalpel into the blade remover until a click is heard. Then, with the container held firmly, remove the scalpel handle at the same angle until the blade releases from the scalpel handle. Allow the blade to drop into the SharpSafe container. Always return the SharpSafe container to the temporary closure position after use. The temporary closure feature should always be engaged when the container is not in use. To release the temporary closure feature, press down on the tab. Rotate the lid until it engages in the open position. The container is now ready for use. To engage the temporary closure feature, release the lid from the open position, rotating the lid until it covers the aperture. Continue to close the lid until a click is heard. This indicates the temporary closure is now engaged. Place the container onto a suitable surface to engage final closure. With the container in temporary closure, press down firmly to engage final closure. Ensure all three clicks are heard to indicate final closure. Fill in the details on the label with name and date the container was sealed. The SharpSafe container is now ready for collection and disposal.